This program is brought to you by Emory University. Now, I don't know. I, this, I've been singing songs for 50 years, and I have never sung Seven Nights Drunk. So I'm going to take you through the part I normally sing, and then you're going to have to decide with me. I went home and prayed about this, whether I sing the rest of it or not. I'm going to sing two, two Irish songs, I guess, that uh, I've learned since I've been here. They're Irish songs. Uh, one is, uh, the first one will be the Irishman I would least likely uh, want to be. And the second one is, of course, the one who I would love to be. Well, I come home the other night, as drunk as I could be. And I saw a horse in the stable where my horse ought to be. I said, come here, little wifey, explain this thing to me. What's a horse doing in the stable where my horse ought to be? Oh, you blind fool, you drunk old fool, can't you plainly see? It's just an old milk cow your granny sent to me. Well, I've traveled this world over. 10,000 miles or more, but a saddle on a milk cow I ain't never seen before. Well, I come home the other night, as drunk as I could be, and there's a coat hanging on the door where my coat ought to be. I said, come here, little wifey. Explain this thing to me. What's that coat doing hanging on the door where my coat ought to be? Oh, you blind fool, you drunk old fool. Can't you plainly see? It's only a blanket that your granny sent to me. Well, I've traveled this whole world over 10,000 miles or more, but pockets in a blanket I ain't never seen before. Well, I come home the other night as drunk as I could be, and there's a hat hanging on the rack where my hat ought to be. I said, come here, little wifey. Explain this thing to me. What's a hat doing on the rack where my hat ought to be? Oh, you blind fool, you drunk old fool. Can't you plainly see? It's only a chamber pot your granny sent to me. Well, I've traveled this whole world over 10,000 miles or more. But a J.B. Stetson chamber pot I ain't never seen before. You see where this is going, don't you? <laughs> well, I come home the other night as drunk as I could be and I saw some britches on the floor where mine ought to be. I said, come here, little wifey, explain this thing to me. What's them britches doing on the floor where mine ought to be? Oh, you blind fool, you drunk old fool, can't you plainly see it's only a flour sack your granny sent to me? Well, I've traveled this whole world over 10,000 miles or more. But a zipper on a flower sack I ain't never seen before. Well, I come home the other night, as drunk as I could be, and there's a head laying on the pillar where my head ought to be. I said, come here, little wifey. Explain this thing to me. What's that head doing on the pillar where my... It ought to be. Oh, you blind fool, you drunk old fool, can't you plainly see it's only a cabbage head your granny sent to me? Well, I've traveled this whole world over 
10,000 miles or more, but a mustache on a cabbage head I ain't never seen before. That's five nights. You want, you want to try six? Well, I come home the other night as drunk as I could be. And I saw a rump on the bed where my rump ought to be. I said, come here, little wifey. Explain this thing to me. What's that rump doing there in the bed where my rump ought to be? Oh, you blind fool, you drunk old fool. Can't you plainly see? It's only a pumpkin your granny sent to me. Well, I've traveled this whole world over 10,000 miles or more, but an asshole on a pumpkin I ain't never seen before. All right, ladies, you tell, now you, ladies tell, you tell me, these men, they won't hear every damn thing. Now, I, I learned this from a woman. The men would never sing a song about this about themselves, right? All right? This is the first time in 50 years. This is it. You need to mark it down. It will be the last time I'll ever do this. Fortunately, I only see a few of you again in this life. <laughs> well, I come home the other night. Drunk as I could be, and I saw a thing in the thing where my thing ought to be. I said, Now, little wifey, explain this thing to me. What's that thing doing in the thing where my thing ought to be? Oh, you blind fool, you drunk old fool, can't you plainly see? It's only a roast in here your granny sent to me. Well, I've traveled this whole world over 10,000 miles or more, but balls on a roast in here I ain't never seen before. Seven. As Daley Norton would say, I'm right. <laughs> uh, uh, this is a, this is a this is a better song. I swear it is. Uh, 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 this is the the fate of uh, of later Irish immigrants, or maybe in the middle, who uh, just happened to get on the wrong dang boat. It wasn't the Titanic, but it it sailed into Charleston Harbor, or into New Orleans. I don't know which. Probably Charleston Harbor. Uh, in 1862, so anybody that got off the boat was automatically conscripted into the army, which was in control of whatever port was there. And this is the story about one poor soul that happened to. And he lived through the Civil War, and he's discharged in the town of New Orleans, and the only money he has is Confederate money. Was on one bright March morning I bid New Orleans do. I took the road to Jackson Town, my fortune to remove. I cursed all foreign money, no credit could again, which set my heart to long 
for the lakes of Poncho Trang. I sat on board the railroad car beneath the morning sun. I rode the roads till evening and stepped me down again. All strangers there, no friend to me Till the dark girl toward me came And I fell in love with a Creole girl By the lakes of Pontchartrain I said, my pretty Creole girl My money here's no good if it weren't for the alligators, I'd sleep out in the wood. You're welcome here, kind stranger, though our house is very plain. We'd never turn a stranger out by the lakes of Pontchartrain. Took me into her mammy's house and treated me quite well. Her hair upon her shoulders in jet black ringlets fell. To try and paint her beauty, I'm sure it would be in vain. So handsome was. My Creole girl by the lakes upon Chatrain. I asked her if she'd marry me. She said it could never be. For she was promised to another, and he was far at sea. She said that she would wait for him. True, she would remain until he returned for his Creole girl by the lakes upon Chartrain. So it's fare thee well, my Creole girl. I never will see you no more. But I'll never forget your kindness in the cabin by the shore. And at each social gathering, a flowing glass I'll raise. And I'll drink a health to my Creole girl in the lakes of Pontchartrain. Thank you so much. It's been so wonderful being here and meeting you and hearing all these stories. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. So, well, we're going to uh, carry on now with a, an old uh, song that uh, Uncle Dave Macon recorded years ago, and I first heard it uh, back in the 60s in, in uh, Los Angeles, where I came up from... Uh, the Jim Quescom Jug Band. Hey. <laughs> That's the first time that happened. Nobody knows who they are in Ireland. It's called The Morning Blues. Three, four. I woke up this morning with a pain in my head So I went right back to bed The morning blues that make you feel so bad They're the worst old blues that you ever had I got the morning blues Oh, so bad 
I've been in business, I've been in love I used to fly high like a turtle dove I had the blues, many of the time But just another girl on a poor boy's mind I got the morning blues Oh, so bad Come and get me, mama, and the world's in Nickel for the grease and a dime for the lard. I would buy more, but the times is hard. Ain't no use to me working so hard. I live off the chickens in the neighbor's yard. I got the morning blues. Oh, so bad. Over oh, yonder, he looks like he wants a partner. Look at that hair, I'm around the sun, like a flower of the moon. Look at the tail hanging out. I got the morning blue. Oh, so bad. Oh, so bad. Thank you very much. Uh, this is a, a song that was uh, in uh, my house on, on an old 78 record. Um, we had as many, uh, grown up, we had as many American records in the collection as we did Irish ones. And the Carter family um, were a big part of that. And uh, this was on one of those records. Um, you might know it. It's called Over the Garden Wall. Do you know it? Well, you might know it by the time we're finished. And, uh, yeah, if you feel like singing, by all means do. <clears throat> G. G. Oh, yeah, sorry. My fault. My love sat on the walnut tree over the garden wall. She whispered and said she'd be true to me over the garden wall. She had beautiful eyes and beautiful hair. She's not very tall, so she stood on a chair. Many is the night I kissed her there over the garden wall.
Just, uh, there's not a whole lot that I can say or know about about this tune, except that it's it's nice and simple, and and uh, I likes it. Julianne Johnson. Thank you. 
Thank you. Um, no. No. I think I learned this uh, next song from an old recording of Gene Ritchie's, and uh, I uh, learned it, and uh, the boys learned it uh, yesterday. So let's hope it can all hang together. Um, it's about a, a man who uh, loved a woman, but the parents didn't accept him. Uh, so they locked her in a dungeon and kept her as far away from him as possible. So he went off to the war, and uh, like in so many other songs, after seven years, I don't know what it is about the seven-year thing, and it might have been uh, the origin of the seven-year itch, I don't know, but um, seven years he came back, and she had died in the dungeon. And so it's kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> Now, one, two, three. Irish troubadour in our midst. His name is uh, Fintan Vallely. He's a flute player, writer, scholar, and uh, singer. A singer, too. <laughs> Hello, Fintan. Uh, Can I praise you any more than that?
It was the Highlander Summer School in school in Tennessee where the gospel song originally then became the Civil Rights Anthem here in the Second Life. And then the Third Life it became incorporated into the Irish Civil Rights Movement in 1968. And, um, and then in the Fourth Life, uh, 15 years later, uh, there was a, things started happening in Ireland and I was writing kind of parodies and satirical songs at the time. And um, the, the, what happened was the statues began to move. You, you might have read about this in the newspapers. I think statues also moved and bled here as well, but um, um, they, only bled, they only moved in the south of Ireland, not the north. People said they were afraid to move in the north. You know, they'd, they'd be seen if you moved and you know, get shot. But, um, so this is the story of the moving statues. Nobody knows why it happened, but there was a mania for about a year. It finally ended when some, a couple of fellas attacked the moving statue with hatchets and lump hammers and smashed it to pieces. And they were in court about a year later. I, think, I don't think they were ever sentenced, but I think they were found to be insane. Attacking a statue in Ireland is something. Obviously, obviously you'd be, you were insane. But um, hey, this is the story of the moving statues. It's, um, so it's all true, but um, this is, it was, um, that year it, was lash it rained for, I think, 366 <laughs> days of the, the entire year in 1985. A lot of strange things happened. Uh, there was a referendum on divorce the same year. There was a referendum, all sorts of things sensitive to religion at the time. So. You probably all know the chorus here, but it's slightly different. We're on our way to freedom. We have nothing left to lose. Fed up with adoration to move is what we choose. It's like a Friday night in Glanamadi when the statues move. For we are the statues, statues on the move. We're the moving statues, movement done to move is what we choose. It's like a Friday night in Glanamadi when the statues move. From outside every chapel, perched at altars and on walls, from roadside school and mantelpiece, we've answered all your calls. We're sick and tired of working at psychiatry. We want to be free. We all want, we want to be free. We're the moving statues movement, and we move that we be free. We're sick and tired of working at psychiatry. We want to be free. For years, you foolish people have flocked in hordes to roam, to gape at shameless lazy lumps of marble, brass, and stone. Come to us, just paint and plaster, but we bleed, convulse, and low. We're Ireland's holy show. We are the Irish, the Irish holy show. Just one mention of divorce, our tears begin to flow. Come to us, just paint and plaster, but we bleed, convulse, and low. We're Ireland's holy show. But with some cooperation, we'll contort to your command. But we want European clothes and mittens for our hands. Indexed linked to nations, central hidden for our stands. Those are our demands. There you have them, those are our demands. Grant them, and the moving statues move to your command. Indexed linked to nations, central hidden for our stands. Those are our demands, for we are the statues, statues on the move. We're the moving statues, movement done to move is what we choose. It's like a Friday night in Lanamadi when the statues move. Hey. <laughs> There's something serious. Two and three, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're going to keep Fenton up here. What? Two and three. Two and three. And he's going to pick up his licorice stick and uh, join us for a couple of reels. The uh, Sligo maid and what's the second? Thing? Kiss the maid behind the Kiss barrel. Kiss the maid behind the barrel. Two fine maids. Maybe the same. One and the same. Uh, so uh, will we lead off with the. Oh, yeah. That's the note.
talking today in uh, in um, in our uh, singing workshop about uh, this next brand of song um, uh, about the um, the test that uh, men would put on they'd have disappeared again for seven years and they come back to see if the the, the lover was true while um, and faithful while he was away so he he'd go to her in disguise and uh, pretend that um, that the, her lover was dead and to go at him instead kind of thing. And uh, usually she she uh, passed the test and they all lived happily ever after. And thankfully it happened in this case too, but on occasion it, it didn't work out. But um, it's called The Lover's Token. Another song I learned from the great Frank Hart, um, who sadly is no longer with us. Um, I tune because you care. <laughs> right. So. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Start that again. One, two, right? Yeah, okay. okay. One, two. <laughs> Ships were our sailing. I spied a fair maid. She was a weeper and willing. I stepped up to her and said, What is it now that pleased thee? She answered me and so There is but one can lead me. He left me all alone on the shore, broken hearted. When he said he would return again, if life is not deprived him, in his absence I will mourn when the death can be.
of chance But if I'm left all alone I will please my own fancy If cruel death is so sad me I will work with no stranger To the green as I will mourn And become a And they both sat down to sing, but the shield sang like clearer, like a blackbird in the spring, saying, You're welcome, my dear. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure uh, to, to play for you here uh, uh, this evening and all day. We had a fantastic day, and I'd really like to thank our host, Jim Flannery. And, of course, uh, Laura as well for working tirelessly and making it all happen. And there's lots of pe people actually buzzing around. There's volunteers, there's camera people, there's sound engineers, there's backstage hands. So them as well, thanks very much. As Rick said earlier, uh, tonight was the first time, um, well, he actually, no, he didn't tell you uh, that this is the first time the four of us um, uh, were playing together uh, officially. Uh, so I think it worked out well. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed it anyway. So over on the fiddle here uh, from Nashville, Tennessee, Henry Branagh, the fiddle. <laughs> on the jaw harp and um, concertina and harmonica and vocals from Culver City, California, Mr. Rick Epping. And our Grammy Award winner here on the guitar all, of, all the way from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Jordan McConnell. And uh, our shining star and uh, lovely vocalist from Scarmogue, County Roscommon, Miss Kathy Jordan. So, <clears throat> I said that louder than I expected. Um, we're going to finish with um, um, some jigs. Um, well, it, the first one is a jig. It's a song and a jig, and we're going to do the song and the jig incorporated. And then we're going to go into a, a very well-known tune um, called the Fox Hunters. And we're going to do it in G, and we're going to do it in A. And if there's any musicians down there um, that would like to join us for the Fox Hunter, um, speak now or forever hold your instrument. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Anyway. Oh. Ah, my stuff is my frog again, frog or a dog. I 
Pleasure to play too. We'll see you next time. I was I get asked often to sing at weddings, and the first time I was asked, they asked me to sing sing a nice traditional song there, you know, with the happy ending. I couldn't find one, <laughs> <laughs> except this one. Um, and this makes up for all the tragedy and all the rest of them. Um, boy meets girl, falls in love with girl, isn't good enough for girl, but gets her in the end, by God. <laughs> There's a home by the white heaven That would sweep o'er the broad open sea And wide rivers where the waves wash
师兄，欢迎所有仙。They wave to the breeze. Where the green ivy clings round the door, and the birds sweetly sing on its trees. Oh, we die. They're tuning. Like a sick man that longs for the dawn, I do long for the light of a smile, and I pray for. My own carnival, whilst I'm waiting for her by the side. Oh, I climb all the hills of the. To get one kiss from a lily white hand, is that it? In all sun, he. One there, Henry. <laughs> I have tasked all those years of my life through storm, through sunshine and rain, and I surely would venture my life for to shield her. One moment from pain, for she been my comfort in life. Oh, my comfort and joy, she may be. She's my own. She is my. Promised way, is that it? Me no son, can he? Ah, but when I will call her my own, and tis married, we both then will be. The queen on the throne will be living in sweet unity. Oh, tis then I have a home of my own. And I will a nice. What is them that 
her name will be known. But for Ireland, I won't tell her. Usually, yeah. yeah Turn the bonds <laughs> locked. It's E. It's, it's longer G. than the left that side of the bonds. The side of the bonds are locked. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's Is it E, G, and D, or? Yeah. E, D, and G. Yeah, it's E minor, G, and D. Yeah, and then. To G to D. Yep. Yeah. Oh, very good. You go ahead, yeah. Thanks very much once again. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. Um, I said it already. Um, uh, I'll be looking forward to the next time I play um, in Atlanta, Georgia. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thanks a lot, folks. Thanks a million. So, uh, with three reels, uh, uh, Jeff Lynne, Jeff Lynne, Jeff Lynne, Jeff Lynne, Jeff Lynne, that are really popular around Sligo, popularized. Uh, and a further field from Sligo by Michael Coleman's recordings. First one is called the Tarbolden, and then uh, the Longford Collector is second, is it? And finishing off with the Sailor's Bonnet. Take them off, take them off. Take them
you. Safe home now. God bless. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.